Hi everyone and good day for all the students. Welcome to today's video lesson on article writing for SPM 1119 Paper 1. My name is Mr. Turai and allow me to give some credits to my team of Madam Mona, Miss Fu, Mr. Collins and Mr. Ashrafi and we are all teachers from SMK To Indra Wangsa Ahmad Batu Gajah Perak. Allow us to also thank our school SMK Tiwa, the PPD Kinto Satan and the JPN Negeri Perak for giving us the chance to present on today's topic. A little bit of essentials before we move on further. The lesson of objectives today is going to be by the end of the lessons, people will be able to understand the format and features of article writing and they will also write an article of about 200 words using appropriate language functions. The success criteria used to measure today's lesson is going to be people can understand the format and features of article writing clearly and you can also write a good article of about 200 words. Now if you wonder where do you find this article writing in our SPM syllabus? You can actually find this in Form 4, Unit 7, the writing task, whereby this content standard use is 4.1 to communicate intelligibly through print and digital media on familiar topics. And the learning standard use is 4.13, where to explain the main points of an argument or idea. Now let's move on to our topic of today in a quick fashion. Article writing. Now what is article? What is the purpose of it? Why do you see it? Article is actually a piece of writing to inform and to provide information. The keyword here is information on a particular subject or topic. It can be anything. Online shopping to canteen day, sports day, world cup, your favorite football day or anything else. The next thing is going to be where do you see, read or even write articles for? You can always see them in newspapers, school magazines, newsletters, bulletins or anywhere else. Next is going to be the basic format for this essay article or even the essay in the paper 1 which is going to be between the length of 200 and 250 words. But the extra special thing for this article is that you need to have the title underlined on the top and you need the name of the writer which I will show you on later. Next is a little bit of tips of how to write. You start up with the title, as I mentioned earlier, underlined, and then you have the written by, or even by, your name, a full name, formal name, and then you would normally have about five to six paragraphs, with paragraph one being to introduce the topic, paragraph two, three, and four is going to be the body or the content of it, and paragraph five, assuming that you're doing five paragraphs, as a conclusion to summarize this whole article. Moving on. Let's see the writing tips for today. Simple ones first. First thing is to study the question. Read and understand the questions given carefully and see the requirements. Next, you would have outline to prepare a brief outline comprising of main points for several paragraphs. Normally before you write, you read the questions and then you see all the requirements and you start doing the outlines, preparing your points for paragraphs before you actually write your essay. And then you must always check and keep in mind of your tenses and tones. Make sure to use the correct tense consistently and use a formal tone. What do I mean by consistently is students usually make a mistake of changing your tones every now and then throughout your essay. For example, in this case article, you would normally assume to write your simple past tense. Maintain that throughout your essays. Do not change it your present tense and past tense throughout the essays. Make sure to keep this in your mind and always to use a formal tone. Kiss, or in another word is keep it short and simple. In here I mean the sentences. Do not make long sentences or make flowery statements which is twisting all around. This is article, almost a formal way of writing. So make it short, straight to the point and simple, precise I would say. Reader's attention is very important for article writing. Imagine you're writing an article for a magazine or newsletter. Ask questions to catch their attentions. Like, can you imagine the World Cup being played in Malaysia next year? Those kind of statements attract people. And then you will always have to involve the readers. Use pronouns for your essays, just you or your, 
and be of our to feel the readers more included you are engaging the readers when you're doing your article next i would give some advanced writing tips firstly paragraphs make sure to divide your point in paragraphs one idea one paragraph all this to be done on the outline before you write your essays elaboration you make sure to elaborate your main point using supporting details facts statistics descriptions and examples if you can conclusions do not give more new points when you come to the conclusion always give a brief summary of your all earlier said ideas just round them up and make it simple then students main mistake is common mistakes are sometimes when you're running out of words and time but you have more ideas and you feel i could insert one or two more in the conclusion which is a complete no so next i would like to go for the tone of this uh, essay or as i mentioned earlier the first part i would say is to have a less i mean of course we have mentioned that it's going to be a formal tone but remember that you're engaging your readers and hello good morning i mean those are being very strict and too formal be less formal and avoid using passive sentences i mean to have an excellent marks over here you would always like to use phrasal verbs and idiomatic expressions like the examples i've given you and use less formal linkers for example using so instead of therefore or there thus or using besides and apart from instead of in addition or moreover i i guess what you, you understand what i mean by formal linkers yeah next i will move on for the requirement of the questions for example this is one question that we can see is given on an exam paper for your exercise you have seen an announcement to write an article in the international magazine for teenagers what is the one place where modern teenagers go shopping the most the best article will be published in the next month's edition of the magazine tell us what kind of shop what what they want to buy and why is it important to them so this is a part of the question so when you see the question here you've got to start writing down or highlighting in there of the important things first this is for an international magazine for teenagers international magazine means that you could use descriptions statistics and supporting details in the international field this is main for teenagers so your recipients your audience could be or should be teenagers and then you're going to see about the places where they go shopping the most so you're going to need your trending ideas which places and then you've got to know what do they buy normally and what you've got to do your research on this and involve yourself revolve yourself around this topic of shopping teenagers what would they buy where would they buy and so on just having a quick answer for what we have talked in this topic teenage shopping in the 21st century so this is about a title choosing the right title this title was not given in the question but adding the 21st century is it needs to be a catchy introduction make sure to have your name by your name it can be written by in the beside of the title or below the title and then you're going to have this is a very quick example this is not the long version of your answer the introduction have to be simple but answering the main question here like where would they buy and the topic and then when it comes to your body of your um uh, essay your article you need to answer your second and third requirements which ever given to you always make sure to have answered every single aspects they have given you every single requirements that you have discussed earlier in your essay do not miss out on anything as this would seriously jeopardize your marks given here you would see the catchy phrases as, as i said earlier on the introduction to catch the teenagers attention how many hours do you spend looking at a new gadget or games and games and you want to buy from your local electronic shops a question that will attract attention from everyone that's reading it this is engaging it and and then you move on like a story writing style where most saturday mornings you know the, the times when everyone is free this are all article is not a full academic formal essay where you just got to go on statistics and facts alone you need to engage with the readers so this is some of that 
And then conclusion wise, you can go for catchy and summarize. This is a one line word, but what I want is to a uh, one paragraph. So try to go catchy and try to summarize whatever the earlier points that you have given us earlier. Like in this point, they are talking about uh, shopping for new type of technology. It gives us your independence and those kind of so on. So make it put it them on your conclusion and wrap them up. Do not give new points in your conclusion. I think that's much for our quick lesson today. Now, why don't you try writing an article on the same topic for teenage shopping using the technique shown earlier? You can always use your own ideas, make them in paragraphs, outline them, and start writing them your essays between 200 to 250 words. That is going to be a homework for today, and good luck. Again, my credits to my team here, my PPD Kita Satan, the SMG Tiwa. And I would like to thank everyone and have a good day. Thank you.